today I guess I wanted to talk about how cars are coming up with facelifts like very quick and by very quick I mean like every couple of years for me personally cars aren't phones like you know how there's always a new model of s21 22 whatever 24 every year and apple too on the other hand with their ios comes out with a new apple phone every year 7 8 9 10 11 now it's like 15 at the moment of recording this video 16 is supposed to come out soon so I don't get it like why are cars coming out with facelifts like every couple of years I'm not gonna say every year because I think that's too much of pressure on a car company but three to four years I think a really great example is the car I drive the Hyundai Kona I have a pre facelift gen 1 which is something you could get up to like 2020 and then you have like a facelift version of the Kona. It's the same frame and everything, but the aesthetics are completely different. It's more of an EV looking Gen 2 Kona. And then 2024, it's completely been revamped to like a completely different sort of Kona, bigger chassis, wider body, longer body, better handling, it just, completely a different car and the exteriors as well as the interiors have completely been like changed and I understand it's like to do with keeping up with the times like new design languages different features technologies always always changing on cars and everything else too and so What I'm not understanding though is that won't that cause a bit too much of strain on a manufacturer? Like it's great for the customer, don't get me wrong. But I'm thinking if you have an accident and you have like a facelift version of a car, then <laughs> you know what I mean? Like will there be spare parts available in stock for like Gen 1, Gen 2, and then Gen 3 vehicles all at your local dealer. Like, why? Ooh, what is this car? Is this a Palisade? Yes, it is. Damn. <laughs> I love the Palisade. And, yeah, like, I don't get it. <laughs> um, Technology-wise, that's great. Facelifts, newer versions of it, but... I remember when like a second generation of a vehicle, a facelifted version would come in about like, I don't know, like what is, why is this guy, anyway, would come in about like almost a decade gap between when vehicle manufacturers would do that. But now it's honestly happening very soon and I'm not saying I'm troubled by it, but I'm just a bit confused about it. Like. I feel like it's something manufacturers almost like shoot themselves on the foot with. I don't know. What do you think? Like, should the number of facelifts like slow down? Or do you think it's good? I, I just feel a bit overwhelmed by how quick new generations of cars are like coming out every like two to three years or four years I think I think four to five years is probably the best estimate at the moment but yeah definitely something I do not expect from cars at least anyway what do you think about the topic like is it something that you've noticed this quick trend or is it something that you just have not cared about at all let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one.